hands so ashy. I can't even take a, a thumbnail picture because my hands so ashy. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video is a very chill, it's Saturday, I don't have anything to do, but I wanted to give you guys some pre-Thanksgiving family day options of makeup. So I have my mirror right here. I have no idea what I'm gonna do, but I know it's gonna be something simple. So let's jump right into it. First thing first, eyebrows. My same old things, Benefits Precisely My Brow and Physicians Formula Eyeliner, Dark Brown Eyeliner. So I'm always going to do my brows, even if I never do anything else. Look, I got this mirror, I got that mirror. Nana, which mirror do you want to use today? I think I'm going to use the big one. Um, I'm always going to try to do my brows. Because I think if you have on um, brows, and let's just say probably brows and mascara, like you'll be really good. Like you wouldn't or shouldn't have to do like anything else. So I'm always going to try to at least like, even if I use like mascara to fill in my brows, just give my brows a little fullness and I'll be good to go. And throw on some like oil on my face. That's crazy how I can have oily combo skin, but my face and loves oil. That's what I use as a moisturizer. My homemade oil, hair oil, hair, hair and body oil. My face and skin loves it. And it doesn't break me out. When you think of oil, you think oil is going to break your skin out, but it doesn't. I'm just lightly filling it in and brushing as I go so that I don't overfill. Because I don't know about you guys' family, but my family is small. So it's just a get together for any type of occasion or holiday. It's nothing like really, really big. I have a small family. It's just my, um, my brother. <laughs> My brother and his wife, and my brother has two boys, and I have two boys, so mama doesn't have any girls. And how old I am, she won't get any. <laughs> she won't get any. Look, y'all, I try to talk mama into getting a puppy. She's like, girl, I'm not getting a puppy. Leave me alone. I tried. She's like, mom, you could, you could use it as a guard dog. Knowing full, good, and well. Yeah, that dog would be just as small as ever and wouldn't guard nothing. But you never know. She might change her mind. So I just got to keep, keep on her. We are supposed to be going to the grocery store today, but I don't feel like it. I don't feel like dealing with a crowd. Like, I mostly got everything that I need to cook Thanksgiving dinner. So whatever I pick up a little bit will be like just odds and ends. And I don't feel like dealing with no crowd. If I was going to go to the store, it was going to be like 5.30, 6 o'clock this morning. And I was sleep today, so that didn't happen. See, eyebrows is done. If y'all can see, I hope y'all can see, because y'all know I'm not used to this setup. So eyebrows is done. I'll think about if I'm going to clean it up later. I don't know. We'll see. But I got my travel makeup bag for my brand trip. If you saw that video, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. What are we going to use for primer? Poreless Me and Blur. Let's use those two as primers today. Microphone is on. Put the microphone on. Y'all know how me and this microphone do. Always going to prime the face. Priming makes your makeup last longer. I know a lot of people don't like to prime or say that they don't feel the need to prime, but I just want you to try priming. Drop down and let me know if you prime, if you don't prime. I'm always interested. I love talking to you guys. Never be afraid to ask me a question or just whatever you want to talk in the comments. I'm always going to answer you and talk back. I love talking to you guys, but, um, 
Let me know if you use primer. Because I know a lot of people don't. They say they don't feel the need to use it. But ever since I have started makeup, I think I have always used a primer. Like It wasn't a time unless I just completely forget to put it on. And that's very rare. I have to be really tired, in a rush, or thinking about something else and forget the prime. But 99% of the time, I prime everything, like always. And I didn't even bring out a foundation. So we're going to wait for a minute on that because I have to go in the room and get a foundation. Now, normally I don't color correct, but lately I've been using this paint pot from MAC and Belly Epic. And as you can see, it's an orange tone uh, paint pot. And I've been using just a little bit because you only need to grab a little bit on your brush to color correct, to cancel out any gray or hyperpigmentation in other words that I have and I mostly have it underneath my eye and around my mouth and this helps oh y'all I don't know if this was a limited edition one but if you can find this I suggest trying it out if you like to color correct or you know if if you like to color correct you don't have to you don't have to but this it doesn't move at all throughout the day and it does the job because once I put the foundation and concealer on top of it, it doesn't move and it cancels out any gray that I might have. Because you don't want your foundation, if you put foundation on top of hyperpigmentation, it's going to cause your foundation or whatever to look great and for you to look ashy and dull. And we don't want that. We want to look alive, awake, rejuvenated, ready for the day. So I'm just lightly, I didn't even really dip it in there like hard. I'm just lightly put, dipping it in there. And I have to go to the room. And I like lightly do my eyelids too on this one. It's been probably, it's been probably about two years since I had that eye infection when my eyes swole up like really, really bad on this eye. And the darkness is not near as dark as it was in the beginning. So I guess it's just a process. Like every day I put my oil on my eyelid and I use castor oil. So it has lightened up like a whole lot. But I sometimes I often wonder if my eye will ever like go back to just being simple and no darkness. Because I didn't have any darkness prior to that eye infection. Started off as an ear infection. Went to my eye. So that's how bad. I guess it was an all out like sinus infection. It tackled like all my time. That was almost two years ago. So, yeah, should we do, I think I'm going to go ahead and do eyes because I'm going to do a glitter. So let me grab the eyeshadow palette. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit of my e.l.f. Matte Fair Warm, Fair Warm Concealer. It's a matte concealer. You can always use a matte concealer if you don't have an eyeshadow base. And the reason why I'm using this is because I think I'm going to use a light color. I'm not sure. And this will make the light color pop more on my dark skin. I'm almost out of this. So I'm going to take my brush and tap. Not so much swipe. Just go ahead and tap. I really hope y'all can see because I can't see y'all. Y'all far away. Let's hope for the best. And it's kind of cold today. Hence why I have the, the fireplace going. You see what I say, it doesn't get cold like that, but for me to turn on any source of heat, <laughs> it had to be cold because I would just walk around with a hoodie and some joggers on and some thick socks before I turn on the heat. I don't like to be hot. So I'm just lightly, right, that's what I'm doing, <laughs> I'm swooping it like that. All right, so the palette that I found was this Ruby Kisses Pumpkin Spice palette. And because it screams fall so much, I wanted to give it a shot. So I'm going to take this shade. I'm going to mix the brown, these two shades. Doop, doop. And that's what I'm going to put in my crease so mix it this is one that I found in my stash 
So let's see how it do. For me, I think the holiday is like a sweater time. Unless you're going to like a really fancier event. But I feel like round family, you could just easily throw on a sweater and some jeans and be good. I'm trying to get out of wearing jeans, but I can't. I love me a good pair of jeans. I have probably over two to 300 pair of jeans. I got jeans everywhere, okay? That's how much I love me some jeans, and I don't stop buying them. I continue to buy them. So I'm using a wet and wild brush and just lightly going in the crease with it in circular motions. I love the holiday time because it brings families and stuff together. We usually don't see this individual all year, but at least around the holiday time, you'll see them. And I feel like it shouldn't really be like that, but we all have very <laughs> busy lives. But you got to learn to make time for your family and spend time with your family, even if, even if it's like a couple of hours here, a couple of hours there, to spend time with your family. Because you just never, ever know. How I ended up here today, I'm doing my makeup. Because I just asked my son, was he ready for me to retwist his hair? Because he have locks, was he ready? And he was like, yeah, but not right now. Who do you think you are? Like, I'm on your schedule. So when he told me that, I was like, hmm, I could go ahead and do me a video. Just know, don't come bother me later on like you ready because I'm not ready. I'm, I promise y'all, I'm not going to be ready then. Watch. But even if I'm not doing nothing, I'm not going to be ready. You ain't tell me not right now. So you could go play a video game. So that's in there, if y'all could see. And then take another brush. And I'm going to take this light. It's a... Y'all see it? I don't know how to describe it, but that's what I'm going to take. I have no idea how to describe that one. Oh, should I take that one or the other one? I think I'm going to, no, I ain't going to bother that one. I'm going to take this one. I have no brushes. And I'm not getting up. Let's see. Cause this has a little peach in it and the sweater I want to put on has a little peach in it. So, yeah. The peach little gold. This has, you can use any brush for anything. Never fear that, oh, you have to only use this brush or only use that type of brush to get a look, y'all. I promise you can use any type of brush you want to for anything because none of my brushes I don't think I use for the purpose they were made for use it however you want to use it and I'm just lightly putting it on there with a fluffy brush and as you can see $4.99 beauty supply store palette it popped right just trying to make sure I'm in focus with y'all Go back with your crease color, kind of blend it. I don't want the glitter to like stand out. I want it to look like it's on there by accident. <laughs> and that means you really got to blend. No matter how much somebody tells you that, oh, you don't have to blend, you got to blend. The eyeshadow is good. It's going gonna, it's gonna to lay on there, especially if you're using more than one color. You got the blend, okay? So just take, I love a good wet and wild brush, a good wet and brown brush. Yeah, you can, I cannot go wrong. Okay. So that is on there. Liner, Essence from Target liner. I you can see it. We lightly line it up. Okay. 
I always tell y'all I can't talk on this part. Because <laughs> I don't halfway know what I'm doing. I can't really talk. Can't breathe. Can't do nothing. Just enough. Let's see if I zoom y'all in some. Watch out. So if I zoom y'all in, y'all can see. Can y'all see? This side, I feel like this side is dark because I don't have no light, like the window over here. So that's why it's light. All right, got that done. Next up is face. I used this combination the other day, which is NARS Light Reflecting in Macau and NARS Soft Matte in Macau. And it was pretty decent. I only need a little bit. You only need a very little bit because this offers like really good coverage. So you only need a little bit. Oop, not me saying a little bit, then, then proceed to pump too much out. I feel like a pump of each and you're good and you're good and swirl it and so you got two pumps one of the soft matte and one of the natural light reflector and I'm gonna use put this on a napkin if I have it everywhere I'm gonna use this Morphe E63 brush I remember these do they still make them probably not Yeah, this held up really good when I went to work the other day. I like this brush because it allows, I wonder if I put it, I won't be in your way if I put the mirror right there. I think the mirror take away from the light. I wonder why that does that. It blocks the light. Yeah, it's small enough to get in those corners. I try not to put a lot on my forehead because who wants foundation on their forehead? Not me. At least I try not to put it up there. Yeah, one pump of each will get you good enough coverage yeah I don't think I probably got two or three of these brushes I need to go find them all I like these mm -hmm. all right and then put this on the napkin too for concealer what do we have y'all same old, same old, boom, 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 I don't know why I do that. I just bust out in song all the time. Not just on here. In real life, y'all. <laughs> I do it all day. Sephora Cream Caramel Brightening Concealer that I get from Amazon and Danessa Myrick Yummy Skin Concealer number 12. Boom, boom. I, oh, I'm not going to talk about it, but I will tell y'all that I did watch it. I have seen the first one. I have seen, because you know, they have several different versions of this movie. What movie am I talking about, you might say? The Piano Lessons. Produced and directed by Denzel and his kids on Netflix. Right after you finish my video, I want you to go sit down, grab you a little snack, something good, and I want you to look at that movie. When I say Denzel and his kids, 
did and Samuel Jackson did an amazing job with that. And I was watching it like that was like maybe like four o'clock this morning. They did an amazing job. Like the job was so good to after I finished the video myself. I'm going to go watch it again unless I feel like I missed, in case I missed something very important. But everything was so believable. The scenery, the atmosphere, whatever you call it, the set, the actors, everything. If you can ask me, you can ask me, you can be like, um, Nana, who you think should get an Oscar? <laughs> Is it Oscar? Yeah. Who you think should get an Oscar? Because I'm going to say Denzel and his kids. I don't even know his kids' name. But I'm going to say Denzel and his kids. Because what? I even texted my friend like 4 o'clock this morning. After I finished it or whatever. I told her, I'm like, girl, you got to watch this. I don't care what you do. When I say the job was done. Like somebody said, do the job and make sure you do it right. And that is exactly what they did. I'm looking for a brush. And that's exactly what they did. No questions asked. Okay. They checked all the boxes off. And oh my goodness. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it, Denzel. Mr. Denzel Washington. Mm, 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 mm. Sir. I love it. That's what I call good production. Okay. <laughs> it told a story. The story was believable for me. And it didn't, like, exaggerate. It didn't, oh, it was good. It's so good, y'all. They, they get a triple A plus. I don't know if that's such a thing that you could get, but they get a triple A plus. If it's left up to me, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Denzel, sir, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. Mm. His sign. This thing gonna be something, something fierce, something to really be on the lookout for. Yeah, that's how I like to spend my weekends, y'all. <laughs> I was like, "Why you gotta be kidding me?" Because at first, you know, you hate to see remakes or different versions of something that was the original. You're like, "Oh goodness, they're gonna mess it up," and this did not disappoint. Like, to this day, I have never seen the musical, The Color Purple. I have never seen it because I started watching it and could never get into it. So, yeah, I just left it alone. Once I, once I try, like, multiple times, try to watch something, and it never really clicks, then I just leave it alone. I don't, I don't force myself to try to like it. But this right here, mm -hmm. it's all of that. Did it still say that? It's all of that and then some. <laughs> it's all of that in a bag of chips. <laughs> some of my one size deep trio. It is all of it. This is a coastal sense brush. So see what I tell y'all when the older companies I feel like need to come back. Look at the look at the 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 make of this brush. Like, come on now. We need we need companies like that to come back. Let's bronze up the face. We're gonna do that. One thing, I don't care if I'm going to Thanksgiving, church, work, whatever it may be, I'm gonna bronze. If I don't do blush, anything else. We're going to make sure we do some blush. I mean some bronzer, okay? Bronzer, I love to look deeper. Kiss by the sun deep. And I didn't see them. I said I was going. Oh, and love. This is my favorite liquid blush by Rare Beauty. And it's in the shade Love. And as you can see, it's kind of like a terracotta shade. So if I do blush, it's normally a good peach. Peachy, peachy shade. Right? All that, this is all that. 
take it on my same foundation brush and kind of stipple it in there. I don't want to swipe. So I, can, I go like in a backward C. So I go like my eyebrow to the high points of my cheek. At least I try to. For me, you never know. Y'all, I promise I'm not no makeup expert. I just learned throughout the years what works for me, what doesn't work for me, what I like, what I don't like. And that's how I wear my makeup, based upon what I like. So wear your makeup based upon what you like and what you like to do. Let me, and I even put blush, put blush on my nose. All right, let me go get my setting powder. I'm going to put on some lashes before I come back. And last, we got we got to just set this and do the lips, and we'll be good to go. Okay, guys, so it's been a minute. I have had this for microphone for probably like five or six years. Long time. And I forgot how to use it because I want to do some talk, talking videos. And I need to relearn it. How did I forget? I don't know. I, I got it on my computer, right? Drop down and let me know if you're a content creator and you watch my videos. Drop down and let me know. But I need to know how to sync it to my camera. And how... We'll figure it out. Anyway, so... I was about to say, I know I brought the lip combo. So I'm going to take two of my newest lip products. One is the Maybelline Superstay Teddy Tint in shade 20 mascara tear which is a brown shade in the middle i'm gonna take the ruby kisses lip vinyl tint in roasted peach since my sweater is kind of peach i'm gonna take this and put that in the inner part so let's go ahead and do that i feel like the look came out very not pumpkin like like you know you thanksgiving pumpkin we get it we understand but you know still like a holiday look without the pumpkin you know I got this mirror, that mirror. Now, what mirror are you going to use, baby? Okay, let's line the lips. This feels so good. It smells so good, and it feels so good. If you want, you could probably use this shade, like, all over. I love these things. And I need to see if Alta still has them. Buy two, get one free. And use that for the, my hands are ashy. Use that as a lip liner. Let's run it. Oh, y'all. How y'all let me, Nana? I didn't set the, the concealer. I didn't set the powder. I just was doing what I do. Okay. Sasha Buttercup. Set the concealer. I didn't set anything. I went and grabbed that microphone and was playing with it for probably like the last 30 minutes. Talking about I'm done. No, you're not. No, you are not, ma'am. I get off track real fast. Press it in. I think I'm trying to get sick. I hope not. I don't know. Press it in. Okay, then I'll take my Makeup Forever, the old one, and Y505 to set the remainder of my face lightly. Because y'all know I normally just don't like to use powder, color powder on top of foundation. But I need to use this. I'm just taking a Morphe brush with no name. To set it. Okay. Now I can take the peach shade. And the direction says to always make sure you shake it really well. Uh. 
<laughs> and we got a completed look. Let me go grab this spray because I need to spray. Okay, let's spray with our NYX Bear With Me Spray. I'm always going to prime my face and I'm always going to set my face. Because we don't want the powdery look. That's not the look we're going for. So I'm gonna let this dry down while I continue. Look, the cord don't even came out the mic. What? See, y'all, when I tell y'all is the struggle is real for being a content creator, testing, testing. I gotta it's probably supposed to go through here somewhere. I don't know. Yeah, this is what I do on the weekends. I play with my YouTube stuff. Cause that's the only way I'm gonna be great is if I continue to learn, okay? Learn and grow. Learn and grow. It's plugged in. All right, I don't even have to turn it off, so I'm gonna let y'all see it. Okay, so this is the completed look. I'm eyes look. Completed would be Thanksgiving look. I think I'm gonna go to my brother's house. I don't have nowhere to go. I'm gonna go to my brother's house right now. He wanted me to bake him a cake so I can go get the stuff from his house. Because why let this makeup go to waste? <laughs> why let this makeup go to waste? So yeah, that's what I'll do. But this is just a quick, a different pre-Valentine's. I'm going to fall out this chair. Oh, there you go. Pre-Valentine's Day look. And I just got on. This is another old wig that I had for six or seven years. I don't know where I got it from. But I just wet it with some water and hot comb the sides as much as I could. So, yeah. Drop down and let me know what are your plans for Thanksgiving. You know I am always interested. You know I'm always interested. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'm going to go work on my microphone so that we can have, like, real discussions. I want to have, like, discussion-type videos because I love to talk to y'all. Well, in the comments, like, I love... It may take me, like... It doesn't take me long to respond, but, you know, a day or two. But I love talking to you guys in the comments. So we're going to get that going over here on this channel. Hey, New Year is approaching. Greater things. Thankful for how far I have come in my YouTube journey and grateful to where I am about to go. So yeah, I'm going to catch y'all later. Let me go before I change my mind. Peace out. Bye y'all.